Hi students, it's Miss D. Last week we learned about shapes. This week we are going to use our shapes to make an animal. Today I'm going to show you how to make a kitty cat using circles and triangles. To make our kitty face, all we are going to need is a pencil, a sharpie or a pen, and something to color with. I'm using colored pencils, but you can use markers, crayons, paints, whatever you have. So I would like everyone to start with a pencil. For today, I'm going to start with my pen just so I can speed up the process and show you how to create our kitty face. The first step is you are going to create a circle right in the middle of our paper. Remember to go slowly and take your time so you can try your best to make the best circle you can. It is okay if your circle is not perfect. Nothing ever needs to be perfect in art. All we need to do is try our best. Once we have a big circle in the middle of our paper, we are going to make our ears. Our, our ears are going to be two triangle shapes. So on either side of the circle, I am going to draw two small triangles. I do my line and I create my triangle right on top of my kitty. I'm gonna do another one right on the other side for the second ear and I'm gonna do my two kitty ears. So, so far we have one big circle and two small triangle ears. Inside these ears, I'm gonna do another even smaller triangle. This is going to be the inside of my cat's ears. For our eyes, we are going to do two small circles. I like to do mine around this size, but your kitty can have different eyes than mine. They don't need to look just like mine. I am going to do another small circle on the inside and I'm going to do another one on the other side. I like to do my circles touching the side of one of the eyes because it looks like my kitty is now looking up to the corner. You don't need to do this next part if you would like to keep your circle eyes just as they are, but on mine, I'm going to draw two sideways triangles on the side of my kitty ear, I mean, kitty eyes, just like this. This gives my kitty a nice cat-shaped eye. But once again, if you wanna keep your kitty eye just a circle, that is totally fine. The next step is our nose. Kitties have an upside down triangle shape for their nose. So I'm going to start with a straight line, just like that. And then I am going to do a down the slope, up the slope, just like an upside down triangle. If it helps, you can turn your paper upside down and draw a right side up triangle and then flip it back around and it will be a kitty's nose. Underneath my nose, I'm going to do two swoop shapes. That's going to be my mouth. It's kind of the shape of a hook or a swoosh. So watch how I do this step. I start at the very tip of my nose in the middle and I do swoosh on one side and swoosh on the other side, just like that. Now, our kitty face is pretty much done. The rest of this is up to you. So if you would like to add any special details, this is your time to add special details. You can make the kitty have a bow on its head. You could make the kitty have eyelashes. I'm going to make sure my kitty has whiskers. So I'm going to do three dots on both cheek, just like that. From each dot, I'm going to just do some lines coming out, and those are going to be my whiskers. So my kitty face is done. 
my next step would be to get my color and color in my kitty. Remember, when you're coloring, you want to do your best work and you don't want to scribble. So watch how I color in the ear. For my kitty, I want to make his fur brown. Your kitty can be any color you want. Think about cats that you've seen before and what color they are. I've seen black cats, I've seen gray cats, I've seen orange cats, white cats, I've seen cats with stripes and spots. So you can create your cat in any color you would like. Notice how when I color in my ear, I work my hardest to stay inside the lines and to color the whole thing so there's no white paper showing. I wanna take my time and do my best. For the inside of my kitty ears, I'm gonna use a pink color for the smaller triangle. Remember to go slowly and do your best work. When you're done with your kitties, Take a picture of your artwork and upload it to the assignment. If you are having trouble uploading the photo to the assignment, you can send me a picture on Class Dojo, but please try to upload it to the assignment on your Google Classroom. Good luck, everybody!